Are you tired of paying between $20 and $50 a month for N8N? Well, today I am showing you two ways that you can self-host N8N and it's gonna save you 90% of monthly costs. First, we are going to cover the free local installation. The pros are that you have unlimited workflow executions. It comes at zero cost and also you have control over your data. And then the second way is we are gonna be setting up N8N on a VPS for around five to $7 per month. So the pros of having a VPS is, is that it can run continuously without your computer being on. Then it's also accessible from anywhere around the world. And most importantly, it generally offers better performances than running it locally. It's still 80% cheaper than N8N. I'll walk you through both of these options step by step. And don't forget guys, the links is in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. But right now guys, let's get into the first step to self-hosting on N8N. So guys, in order to get started, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna need to go over to docker.com and you are going to download the desktop version for Docker. So whether you are using a MacBook or Windows, it's completely fine because both options is here. So you're gonna go onto the website, then you're gonna click on download Docker desktop. Then once it is downloaded, you're gonna click in the top right hand corner. You are going to install it on your PC. Then guys, you're basically gonna go through all of the steps and fully install it on your PC. So guys, once Docker is completely downloaded, you're gonna click on it and then it's gonna take you over here. It's gonna ask you to create an account, but guys, to be honest with you, you can actually just skip this. And then you are now going to be on on the home page of Docker. So guys, once you are on the home page, you're gonna click on images and then you're gonna say search images to run. You're gonna click on that. In the box on top, you're gonna type in N8NIO and then you're gonna see it pop up right here on the top guys. Then you're gonna click on it run and then it's actually going to start running the N8N. And after that is completed guys, you are going to see this right over here. Then you're gonna see that little play icon. You're gonna click on that, which is basically running a new container. Now you are going to have the option to actually put in a container name or a host port for this one. I'm actually just gonna put in a five, six, seven, eight. And then guys, we are going to now click on run. And then you're gonna see all of this pop up on the screen guys. And once you go back to containers, you are going to see that it is now there under the new port name. So guys, then we're gonna go back to containers and then you're gonna see it pop up right here. Now under the ports, you're gonna click on the port and then you are actually gonna go to the N8N homepage. Then guys, just gonna fill in your details and it is completed. But right now, let's see how we do it via a VPS. So now guys, we are gonna be running it via a VPS for the second step. And guys, you are gonna go over to Hostinger. So once you go over to Hostinger, you will see the section here where it says choose your plan. Now you have the KVM1 and the KVM2. You can choose between these two. You don't have to go higher, but I personally think that if you are trying to keep it as cheap as possible in the beginning, KVM1 is perfectly fine. So we're gonna click on that plan and then it's gonna take you here to your cart. Now you have the option of 24 months, you have 12 months and one month. Depending on what you choose, it is going to change everything on the actual cost. But guys, since we are going to keep it cheap for this video, I am going to bring it down all the way to one month. And then after that, guys, you're gonna see that there's the daily auto backup section. Now this is recommended by them, but in all honesty, guys, you really don't need it. So for that, we are not going to be clicking on it right now. And now we're gonna be selecting our server location. So this is basically just the server that is closest to you. That's the one you should always go for. So for me, it is France, but if yours is the United Kingdom, then choose that one. And then we're gonna select our operating system. So if you don't see it here in the bottom, you're just gonna go to search OS and you're gonna type in N8N and there it will pop up. Now you're gonna click on confirm and then after that guys, we are just going to continue with our order and as you can see, we are at about eight so guys, once you are done with that, you're gonna see that this free malware scan is going to pop up. So guys, I would suggest that you actually do just leave that box checked and then you're just gonna click on continue. So now guys, it's time for us to create our root password. So this is super important guys, so make sure that you do keep the note of what the password is somewhere else. And guys, if you ask that, I mean, there is the three dots in the right hand corner that you can click on. But guys, I have a password, so I'm just gonna put that in. And then also guys, remember to keep your VPS host name, save that somewhere along with your password password and then guys we are just going to click on continue and now it's almost finished guys it just says one more step and all we have to click on is the finish setup now guys it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to fully install everything and you are going to receive an email once it is done so guys we got our email we clicked on it and it took us over here and there you can now see guys that N8N is now active on our VPS and guys all you have to do is literally just click on manage app and then it's gonna take you over here and now you just have to create your account or or you can log in and then the setup is complete. And now guys, 
I want you guys to let me know which one of these two methods do you think is the easiest. For me personally, I would definitely go with setting it up via hosting as a VPS. But guys, if the monthly cost is a little bit too much, then at least you do have the free option. But if you're asking me, I would definitely go with the VPS route. But guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Also guys, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Also check out the video that is popping up on the screen right now. And guys, I'm Ty and I will catch you on the next one.